Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here with a great little classic book about Tyndale's triumph. And this is the Rogers New Testament. There's a, I think there's a volume two, there's a volume one that has the Old Testament. And so the Rogers Bible was basically just Tyndale after he got burnt at the stake. It was completed by Miles Coverdale and brought out and it was the first real official Bible in England for centuries because the Catholic Church had, had outlawed it. And it's just got so much cool stuff in it. Like it's got the monograph. You'll notice how Tyndale is spelled here as well. So if you're looking for this online, you'd really... And you see like John Rogers getting burned at the stake. You'll notice Bloody Mary, like first people she killed were Bible translators because it is a threat to tyranny and totalitarianism. You can't subjugate immoral people and there's no more moral people than true Bible believers. Also Tyndale when he was getting burned at the stake October 6th, 1536 out there at Vilvord Castle praying open the King of England's eyes. And so it's just got some stuff. It's dedicated to David Otis Fuller. And uh, that was them burning New Testaments, actually, at St. Paul's of the Cross. And uh, here's the martyrdoms of Rogers and Tyndale. Sorry about that. I had it on a different page. So this is the Thomas Matthews Bible. That was a pseudonym. The Matthews Bible of 1537. And it's got some original writings of Tyndale in here. Just fantastic stuff. So, introduction. Omitted here about 20 pages by John Rogers of his own trial. Unto the reader, W.T., unto the reader. That's William Tyndale. And it's just fantastic stuff. I mean, just amazing. Like on repentance. Who was loot? Okay, like this. I just want to read this to you. But when the printing of mine was almost finished, one brought me a copy and showed me so many places in which wise altered that I was astonished and wondered not a little what fury had driven him to make such change and to call it a diligent correction for throughout Matthew Mark and Luke perpetually in oft in the Acts and sometimes in John and also in Hebrews where we find that this word resurrection he changeth it into life after this life or very life and such life and as though he abhorred the name of resurrection and then he keeps going on. He says, But it's not lawful, thinketh me, nor yet expedient for the edifying of the unity of the faith of Christ, that whosoever will shall by his own authority take another man's translation and put out and change it at pleasure and call it a correction. So then another place to tell you, God in our Savior Jesus Christ where he's talking, really believed in the deity of Jesus Christ, believed in one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And uh, I've got some notes written in here. So this is, this is how it looks. And man, this is just a great little New Testament. So if you're into the Bible, into Bible study, I would really highly recommend you get this. I think you'd just love it. Tyndale's triumph. I'm glad we've got an English Bible. It's changed the world. It gave us America. It freed the slaves. It gave us a constitution. Yep, all from the King James Bible. It'll still set you free today. Believe it and obey it. God bless you in Jesus' name.